ladies and gents, here you are again. Right, today, right, I've been playing with some high frequency, high speed induction motors, which are inverter driven by IGBT technology, which is isolated gate bipolar transistor, piss of shit. And, uh, not very happy today. So, uh, if you uh, don't want to see my hammer suddenly come out of nowhere, then I suggest you quickly stop this video and uh, maybe go and watch another one. Because as I explain what happens, I think my hammer might come out to play. Because I ain't having it. Right, this is one of the inverters which uh, pissed me off. Um, fairly typical. There's the IGBT driver. It didn't take long to pop that. Couldn't really do much with it. Um, there's so much communication um, on board technology there that it needs another board and a proxy computer just to get that motor uh, to run at, you know, decent frequencies. Uh, as you can see, something uh, popped there. Um, as soon as I got to my target speed and tried to increase it, there you go, you get a typical chain reaction and everything goes pop. So that inverter, probably about 600 quid, absolutely ruined. Um, so I'm going to nuke that motor in a minute. Then I started playing with some uh, smaller inverters. There's a couple of other little inverters we've got here. Uh, similar sort of frequency. And there's the motor. Uh, see if I can get you one there. Um, there you can see. Well, 380 hertz that one. Does go at quite some speed, but again, these stupid inverters, which uh, obviously have to communicate with the main driver board. You can't just uh, put a, a signal in like I tried to do with the oscilloscope um, and drive it that way. It worked to a degree, but as soon as you go over that, um, there's no uh, control or protection and sadly what happened it uh, spat a bit of voltage back up into the frequency generator on the scope and now the uh, scope has no frequency generator so uh, I'm going to sling my hammer in it uh, so not very successful electronic technology pisses me off when there's absolutely no tolerance for leeway it's the manufacturer's way or no way um, and it, it really does piss me right off so uh, I'm looking for my fucking hammer right there right here we go there's one inverter which pissed me off now I'm at me that's that out of the way Couple more inverters. This one there, that's for pissing me off. And this one, that's for busting my scope. And this is what I think of electronics. How oh, satisfying. Ooh, I feel good. That motor can sit there and suffer. Ah, uh, see, that's much better. I'm nice and calm now. So that's what I think of IGBT technology. Unnecessary. All that nonsense just to drive a motor. What a waste. Anyway, right like tomorrow, I'm going to go and spunk some money on a new oscilloscope and I might buy a decent frequency inverter, uh, one with a couple of kilowatts, so I can start cranking up AEC drive units to frequencies what they're not intended for. Right, there's a VFD, and when you get it out of the box, it's normally set for 50 hertz or 60 hertz. You do have to get into the program and uh, alter it to what you want. 
Yeah, there's 79 different menus in there, which is quite complex. But I've cranked this one up to 400 hertz, so it really start cranking up that induction motor. These aren't too bad. Um, nothing really to say about them, but you have got to program it to the type of motor you're going to drive. Single phase goes in, and an artificial free phase comes out. This one's not that powerful, about half a kilowatt. So, uh, it's not too bad. We'll uh, crank up a motor, see what we can get out of it, eh? Here's an induction motor. We're going to crank up to stupid speeds. Obviously, there's no brushes in this. And we should still get this to go 20,000 RPM. Yeah, no brushes. So let's start cranking it up. That's 50 cycles. Very quiet motor, because there's nothing uh, rubbing, there's no brushes, it's just bearings on there. 100 hertz. 200 hertz. 300. And 400. That's with no power on it, and that will take absolutely ages to stop. So I'm going to introduce the frequency in there to slow that down rather rapidly. There you go, that's running. Oh, we've got a reverse on there. Somewhere. Should see it in reverse. Right, I've got a bit of masking tape on that shaft. Now you'll uh, see it in perspective of how fast that was going. Let's stick the cycles. And that's a pretty normal speed for an induction motor. In this country we've got many motors which run at 1425 RPM on 50 Hz. That's 50 Hz. Now we can start being stupid with it. Getting out of the way. Controllable that you even get quite a bit of torque when it's not even uh, rotating that fast. Very, very universal. But I want to try and get to full speed with a bit of tape still on. Got it there, flat out. That's fast. Here's one interesting thing with these, I guess. If you hold the shaft, and I'm going to start up. Sounds like it's still going, doesn't it?
So there's the PFD, but don't forget to program it, otherwise you will be disappointed, because it won't do what you want. Um, but these silly little inverters what were on washing machines, they are pence. I won't mention what uh, make or manufacturer those inverters were, but oh, I can't believe that. Absolute rubbish, even the fucking heat sink was live. Anyway, there's a cheapy fucking impulse for you. No, I feel quite happy now. Hope you enjoyed that, because I certainly did. I win, because I weren't having it. My scrap man's going to be happy tomorrow. Right, I'm going. Catch you later.